Hey, hey guys, Adam here with another educational video. In this video, we shall evaluate the performance loss in terms of speed, climb, turn, and roll when loading gun pods on BF109s and to see if the gun pod modifiers on the stat card are accurate. Without further ado, let's reload right into it. First of all, armament is an important component in the usefulness of an aircraft in random battles. Being able to dispatch an enemy faster will allow you to move on to the next enemy sooner or start reclimbing earlier and lose less energy in your attack. It's why the 4.7 BR Corsair with cannons is fine at 4.7 when it has similar performance as the 3.3 Corsair. To begin, let's take a look at what the game says regarding gun pod performance loss. I'll only be looking at how the gun pods affect the K4 in this video because every BF109 will have a very similar reaction to loading gun pods. The game shows a 200 kg increase in empty mass. To verify what the actual mass difference is, I went into FM properties and found that the mass difference is actually 232 kg, but the difference is due to the ammo mass. Next on the stat car is plus 0 0.026 kg of force added to parasite, parasite drag. This one is a bit confusing to me given the units, and I do plan on testing a few more things to figure out what they represent. But in any case, I calculated a 0.02 increase in the drag coefficient due to gun pods by comparing the top speed with and without gun pods. As for speed, the stat card shows a 12.2 km per hour decrease in top speed at 6 km. On this top speed as a function of altitude graph, the speed difference is 17 km per hour at 6 km and 13 km per hour at sea level, so the stat card is reasonably close. With the orange stock curve, you can see that the gun pod top speed is much closer to the spaded speed than to the stock speed. For a rate of climb, the stat card shows a 2.3 meters per second decrease, which is very close to my simulated rate of climb difference of around 2.2 meters per second. On another note, the stat card shows a spaded climb rate of 23.8 meters per second, and that's way off the nearly 29 meters per second you see here. 23.8 meters per second is closer to the stock climb rate of the K4 than anything else. The optimal climb speed is just a tad bit slower with gun pods than without due to the increased weight and drag. For turn radius, the gun pod K4 has the largest turn radius higher than the stock K4. This is the only metric where stock is better than loading gun pods. Regarding turn time, however, the Gunpod K4 has a better turn time than the stock one due to its significantly higher power despite its larger turn radius. The stat card predicts a 1.3 second increase in turn time with gun pods and it corresponds exactly to the difference in my test. The actual stat card turn time value of 19 seconds is significantly different from my measured turn time of 17.3 seconds for the spaded K4 however. Last but not least, how do gun pods affect roll? If you watched my roll rate video, you might already know the answer to this. I tested the sustained roll rate for the K4 with and without gun pods at 450 and 500 km per hour. Here are the results. The K4 with gun pods rolls a bit slower by a couple of degrees per second. The difference is close to the test precision, so the roll rate is essentially the same. In reality, the gun pods would hardly make a difference on the sustained roll rate because inertia is not a factor in the sustained roll rate. However, 200 kg in the middle of the wing should increase the aircraft's roll inertia measurably. Let's see what we find with our roll acceleration test. For this roll acceleration test, I'll measure the time it takes for the aircraft to complete a 90 degree roll or a quarter of a roll starting from a standstill. The time starts at the frame where the aileron is fully deflected and ends when the wing reaches the crosshair. We find that the average roll rates during the short 90 degree roll are identical with and without gun pods. From this, I'd say that gun pods do not modify roll inertia, it's strictly mass added to the center of gravity of the aircraft. In conclusion, the MG-151 gun pods are among the best gun pods available given their effectiveness. They triple BF-09 cannon firepower at a low cost of drag and weight when compared to the average US gun pod. MG-151 gun pod drag corresponds to the drag due to 20% radiators for the BF-109. If you load gun pods, you probably won't be able to outturn what you used to outturn, but I recommend loading gun pods to players who have trouble aiming and killing targets. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and stay useful.